Hi, hey, first graders, we're on Knowledge 8, Lesson 3, Animals of the Sonoran Desert Habitat. Our first vocabulary word is carnivore. Say carnivore. Carnivore eats meat. The next word is herbivore. Say herbivore. An herbivore eats plants. The next one is omnivore. Say omnivore. An omnivore eats both meat and plants. And our last vocabulary word is nocturnal. Say nocturnal. And nocturnal means you're active or you're awake at night. After nearly freezing and almost becoming a polar bear snack in the Arctic, I thought we should go someplace where my whiskers and tails could thaw out and warm up. So I brought you to the desert. There are many deserts all over the world. You know you're in a desert when it doesn't rain very much. Many deserts can also be very hot. Because it's so hot and dry, only certain types of plants and animals can live there. Welcome to the Sonoran Desert in the southwestern part of the United States and the northwestern part of Mexico. The temperature is quite hot during the day and it doesn't rain very much. The heat and lack of rain make it hard for some plants and animals to live in the desert. They must all be specially adapted to live in the hot weather and survive with very little rain. How do they do it? Some plants can save and store water inside their plant parts when it does rain. Other plants grow only in the shady areas near mountains or rocks. Because there are very few plants that can be used as shelter, the animals that have adapted to living in the desert often seek shelter underground and make their homes under the sand. Living underground helps them stay cool when it gets hot and it keeps them hidden from other animals that may want to eat them for lunch. Do you see this image? Ouch! What did I walk into? Aha! Here is one plant that lives in the Sonoran Desert. The saguaro cactus is the world's largest cactus. Cacti don't have leaves, they have prickly spines instead, which is exactly why it hurts so much to touch this one. The word cacti is plural for cactus. One cactus, but many cacti. The incredible saguaro lives for up to 200 years and in that time can grow as high as a house and can weigh as much as several cars. The most amazing thing about the cactus is that it is a habitat in itself. That's right, not only does it manage to live and thrive in the desert habitat, but just by being there, it provides food, shelter, and even water to many different animals. Let me get my climbing gear out and some gloves to protect me from these sharp spines, and I'll meet you at the top. You already know that it hardly ever rains in the desert, but when it does, the saguaro cactus saves and stores huge quantities of water in its roots and stems. The cactus saves the extra water and uses it to survive during those times when it is very hot and dry and does not rain. White flowers grow on the saguaro. At night when the desert cools down, these flowers open to show sweet nectar, which butterflies, bats, and birds feed on. The flowers close the next day when it once again becomes very hot. In the summer, red fruit begins to grow on the saguaro. Many animals eat the fruit of the cactus. Here is an interesting bird called a Gila woodpecker. The Gila pecks holes into the soft cactus with its beak to make a nest for its birds, or I'm sorry, for its eggs. The Gila woodpecker is an omnivore. And remember, an omnivore is an animal that eats plants as well as meat or other animals. Gilas feed on the cactus fruit and berries as well as insects that have invaded the saguaro. Thankfully, I brought a sandwich, so I won't have to join these Gila's for a buggy lunch. It really is way too hot for a regular rat like me to live here. I'm glad I brought my fan with me. Birds like this Gila woodpecker can live in the desert habitat because their feathers help protect them from the hot desert sun by trapping cool air next to their skin. Still, most birds only go out and feed in the early morning or evening when it's cooler outside. From noon to late afternoon, many of these birds seek shelter in the holes that they have dug in the cactus or in other shady places. Here's another animal that makes his home in the saguaro desert, or in the saguaro cactus. 
and that is the elf owl. The elf owl is the world's smallest owl. It is only five inches long. That's just bigger than one of your hands. It moves into nests and has been abandoned by Gila woodpeckers. When something is abandoned, that means that it has been left for good. The elf owl, like most owls, is nocturnal. And again, that means that it rests during the day and wakes up at night to hunt for food. The elf owl is also a carnivore. And remember, a carnivore is an animal that only eats other animals or meat, but it will not eat plants. It uses its large eyes to hunt in the dark night for bugs that live in the desert. Most owls eat mice, and I'm sad to say rats, but I think I'm safe from this elf owl because I am bigger than it is. Oh look, here comes a desert cottontail rabbit, another animal that lives in the Sonoran Desert. The desert cottontail looks a little like the Arctic hare we saw in the tundra, but it has larger ears and larger back legs. What are some ways that the Arctic hare has adapted to the Arctic tundra? Remember, it has smaller ears, so less of its body is exposed to the cold, and it has white fur to blend in, and it has larger, wider back feet so it can run faster in the snow. Desert cottontail rabbits are herbivores. Herbivores are animals that eat only plants. The desert cottontail eats grass and even cacti. Smaller animals like the desert cottontail always need to watch out for larger animals in the desert that might eat them. Many animals and plants are part of a cycle called the food chain. You will learn more about the food chain in the next read aloud. Coyotes, for instance, like to eat rabbits. In fact, there's a coyote coming this way. So let's get up here and watch it. Coyotes are found all over the United States, including the Sonoran Desert. As you can see, the coyote has a light tan colored coat to help reflect the sun's rays and to camouflage it. To camouflage something means to make it blend in with its surroundings. The color of the coyote's fur blends in with the color of the desert sands, so it is difficult for other animals to see the coyote in the desert background. Coyotes are carnivores like the elf owls. Coyotes have very good sense of smell, hearing, and vision, and they can also run very fast, which means they are excellent hunters. They're also scavengers. Scavengers are animals that eat meat and waste left over by other animals. Coyotes live in dens, which they make by burrowing into the ground. I think this one has smelled something because he's just run off. Now I'm getting down from this cactus before another coyote comes along to make me dinner. Seems like rats are on the menu everywhere I go. The end. You may now go ahead and click on the Google form to answer the question about today's read aloud.